In this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Osprey Arcane Tote Pack. Check out packhacker.com for our written review and the best buying options, links down below. This is an Osprey bag, but as you can tell, it's kind of got a much more urban aesthetic, but also, I don't know if it's just the colorway or the type of material they use, but kind of has this like modern heritage vibe going on, which is really cool. It's definitely a departure from you know, some of the more traditional outdoors uh, and travel bags that definitely look kind of outdoorsy. Um, this, the, the Arcane line really has a clean look that we dig. This is the tote pack, so it is part tote, part backpack, and we're just gonna run through some of, the, some of what we like and what we don't like. We're gonna start with the handles. Because this is a tote pack, uh, you'll be interacting with these handles quite a bit. So they're pretty long. They're actually long enough that if you want to, you can just, you know, you can definitely just use them as a hand carry, which is relatively comfortable. You can also kind of like fish your arm through and put it under your shoulder and it's pretty tight under your armpit there, but it does work. If the bag's full, it might be a little unwieldy to do it that way, but it is an option. So, you know, we're digging the versatile carry there. There's no real padding in the handles. It, they're folded over, it's just kind of the straps folded over and sewn together. So it kind of gives a little bit of false sense of padding. But a little extra would actually be appreciated. If this thing's loaded up with all your you know, daily kit, your computer, your water bottle, all your essentials, it can get a little heavy and may not be the most comfortable to carry over long distances by these handles. Again, that's gonna, you know, your mileage may vary based on, you know, whether or not you like carrying things that way. On the back here, flip this over. Uh, you can see you've got a pretty nice back panel. There's some mesh-like material that should help with breathability, but there's no real air channels. There is kind of a, a ridge pattern underneath the mesh. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but you can feel it. It's almost, you know, like a washboard feeling. Uh, which it's pretty comfortable actually nice some cushion and this is really gonna help you when you throw this thing into backpack mode So to do that you just kind of untuck the straps So we're gonna actually loosen this to make it a little easier, but the straps just kind of tuck in uh, To this little sleeve in the back here. There's no real way to secure them But so far in our testing they haven't you know come out When we don't want them to they've stayed pretty secure in there. So you just kind of unfold them and you use, you know, you've got this pretty nice hardware at the bottom, so we're just gonna clip those into these little loops. As you can see, it's got a little gatekeeper action going on. I'm just gonna show you how that goes. It's a relatively smooth process. Um, it's not the smoothest, but again, it, it does, you know, give you a little sense of security. You know, if it's super easy to come in and out, we have had detachable straps like this uh, fall off on us in testing. These so far have been pretty good. We've been rocking it as both a tote and a backpack. But as you can see, they're not the most easiest to get on and they're actually more difficult to get off. E getting them on is pretty easy in comparison. So once you're on there, you've got these backpack straps. There is a little mesh pocket on the front of one of the straps. It is pretty stretchy. You know, you can put Smaller things in here, nothing too big and crazy, but something you want quick access to, always wanna have right there on your chest. There's no sternum strap or anything like that. We haven't had the need for one so far. It's been surprisingly comfortable to carry just with this straps. Um, since there's not a lot of structure to this bag, you can, if it's really full, feel the stuff in your back, especially like a laptop you know, it really makes the back rigid and you can feel that, but it's not uncomfortable. Just something to keep in mind. I've been pleasantly surprised with these straps. They're, they're dense and well padded. Flipping it back over to the front. Uh, we've got a quick grab pocket right here. On the front, it's zippered and it's big. You know, it takes up this whole front area of the bag. We've just been keeping, you know, small bits, little pouches to stay organized phone charger, things like that. So if you might want quick access to, just throwing them in there. If you're using this as your personal item on a flight, you know, putting this under the, the plane, uh, the seat in front of you, this is a good spot to dump all of your pocket stuff when you're going through airport security. 
and that's it on the outside. There are no water bottle pockets, which is a bit of a bummer if you carry water bottle with you. Um, you're gonna have to put it inside the main bit of the bag. So let's open it up and check that out. Um, the, it is a roll top, so you roll it down, kind of use this G-hook, G-hook and loop system here to secure it and then pull this tight. Since it is a roll top, it does expand a little bit. We've actually used this on an impromptu weekend trip. You know, just gone for a couple days, decided to get out of town, and we were able to unroll it all the way, keep all of our tech stuff inside, and also, you know, throw in an, a different outfit and toiletries and be good to go. And then, so before we open up, we're just gonna talk about this stash pocket. So there is a big stash pocket. There's really no way to keep it closed other than cinching up this main closure strap. It's a good spot to just stash larger things that you may need quick access to or don't really want to put inside the bag. Maybe something like snacks, maybe something like a packable jacket or, you know, items that vary from day to day. Just keep in mind that if you put anything too bulky in here, it will cut into the main part of the pack, which could be an issue. Now the main pack uh, is closed with a zipper as well as the roll top. And if you open it up, you know, we've got some of our daily things inside just so you can kind of see how it's packed out, but it's relatively simple. So along the back here, you do have a laptop sleeve, decently padded. There is a little bit of a false bottom, which is nice. You know, it probably stops about there, which is nice. So, you know, if you drop your bag, your laptop's not taking the brunt of that. Um, and then in front of the laptop sleeve, See if I can get you in here. These top loader bags are kind of tough to see inside of. So right in front of the laptop sleeve, there is another sleeve for like documents. We've been keeping some Baron Fig notebooks, notebooks there. It's a good spot for documents, maybe a tablet if you carry one every day. And then in front of that, actually let's take out some of the other stuff. So in the main component, we just keep, you know, tech pouch, roost stand. Here's that water bottle since we don't have a water bottle pocket. Um, so in front of the tablet sleeve are a few other bits of organization. There's a long zippered pocket here. It's got some stretchiness to it. Uh, that's just been another spot for small things. We've been throwing our headphones and stuff in there. And then in front of that are two, it's really tough to show, but there are two smaller liner pockets for like a pen, things like that, other smaller bits, and a very small uh, key leash. It would have been nice, I think, to have the key, the key leash in the um, quick access pocket on the front here, so you don't have to open up the whole bag to get to your keys. I have you put my keys here, and it's a little inconvenient, so I chose not to do that after a few days. So you know, that's most of the features. Other than that, it's just a, a pretty empty space in here. It's not very thick, you know. It's it's pretty actually thin pack, which helps keep its shape, and it's really nice. Um, there isn't plenty of room for things like that water bottle, tech pouches, um, stuff like that, which is how I've been using it. Kind of just like our daily laptop bag, back and forth from the co-working space, the coffee shop, and whatnot. One last note, something that we've noticed throughout testing is when you've got this, uh, you're wearing it backpack mode, and you go to throw it, you know, take it off your shoulder, it's kind of natural to try to grab a top handle and while there isn't one on this bag, there is usually a tote handle that you can grab. Um, usually it's this back one because, you know, while you're wearing it as a bag, they kind of flop to the front like so. And then when you sling off, this back one usually is right there ready for you to grab. The front one still dangling. So as long as you're cool with just holding it by one handle while you kind of cart it down to the ground or whatever you need to do, it works really well. So there you have it. That is the Osprey Arcane Tote Pack. Uh, for more information, check out packhacker.com, and we'll see you in the next video.